Hi guys and welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching The Haunting of Hill House. This is one of two shows that was picked over here on YouTube. I was going to randomly pick between the two shows, The Tide, but since this one is only 10 episodes, I figured I'd go ahead and do this one first and then I would move on to the second show that you guys picked, which is uh, Once Upon a Time. Um, but this is season one, episode one, Stephen Sees a Ghost, I think was the title. Uh, if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, would like to get early access to my reactions, or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, the links are down below. Let's get into this episode. I'm actually a little scared. Because I think this is supposed to be kind of scary. No Which I'm, I'm all for. continue to exist sanely under conditions of absolute reality. Okay, Nellie. Scared? That's okay. I get scared too sometimes. Why are you awake, Luke? Because Nellie's awake. Your big brother must have scared her away. Big brothers are good like that. What if she's hiding? She's long gone. I guess everybody can go back to bed now. You remember what we talked about before? About our dreams? They can spill. That's right. Yeah, just like a cup of water can spill sometimes. His eyes are creepy. Kids' dreams are special. They're like an ocean. An ocean. That's right. And the big dreams can spill out sometimes. Now I know that bent neck lady is really scary, and that's all she is. She's just a little spill. Dancing in the red room. You're dreaming, Cheryl. Pandas aren't dreaming. Pandas, huh? Pandas don't eat macaroni. <laughs> no good. <laughs> the door gonna open again. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I hope the volume isn't too loud. Oh my god, that oh my god. Okay. I hope the volume isn't too loud because <sighs> everything's gonna make me jump. Okay, there's the door. I was right, the door did open again, just not when I thought it was going to. Oh my god, I see it. What is that? Maybe watching this um, right before I go to bed tonight was that such a good idea? I might have to watch something else after this. <laughs> I felt the water on my cheeks and I heard the car horn. And then I looked up at the ceiling and there he was. Hanging there. Upside down. It's funny, you think you'd scream after seeing something like that, but you don't. You just stare. You just stare at it like you're an idiot. And that was the last time I've slept in that room. This is what I'd like to do. So I'm I'd assuming like this is house. one of the kids so grown up now, right? I'd also like to sleep in that room tonight. I'm sorry, I should have told you I'm a fan. That's my favorite, the first one. Silence lay steadily against the wood and stone at Hill House, and whatever walked there walked alone. He seems annoyed that she's quoting I can't his book. What it was like. I've never seen a ghost. But your books. Uh, not in Arlington, Danvers, Alcatraz, on the Queen Mary, or in Williamsburg. And not in Hill House. You know, I, I can tell you one thing about Hill House that isn't in the book. Oh, yes, please. All those years trying to understand what happened in the house, you know what I never found? A reason. How are your brother and sisters doing? I've wondered since the book. How are they doing these days? You know who I wish would write a book? It's one of them. I'd rather sleep here. In case she comes back. 
You're leaving her alone? Like going back to her own room now that she's asleep? Been there, done that with my kids. Not because, you know, they saw a ghost or anything, but, you know, they just didn't want to be alone. Okay, who do you see? I want to see the face. I want to see the face. Not that that wasn't creepy enough, as it was, but I'd still like to see what she's actually seeing. Hi, Max. I'm Shirley. Shirley. I wrote that name down wrong. Might be a little weird. Mommy keeps sitting on my bed at night, touching my hair. She just stares at me, and her eyes must hurt. Why? Because she doesn't blink. Are you okay, Daddy? I was trying to fix the flu. The house doesn't like it, I guess. Oh, I don't like that Mr. Dudley decoration on it. It's creepy as heck. Who would want oh, that? This is gonna... That fireplace reminded me of a movie. Is this like sort of based off a movie? Or it just got similarities? I, got it. I forget what the name of it is. Open it. Maybe it was like The Haunting or something. To open and anyway, that fireplace looked so familiar. Daddy says they've been taking care of this house for The lion stuff too. That's also... Know the key. This isn't working. It could be a pony. Something was moving. I saw the shadow under the door. This door's been locked for years and years and years and years, so if there's a pony in there, it's dead. I want to see what's in there, too. Let's go see if Daddy has any more keys. Daddy, we need more keys. It's an emergency. Is there somebody standing there? I see shadow. Yes. That's a mom? No, I don't know. She looks a little young to be the mom. Who the hell is this? Hi. Theodora. I mean, who are you? What do you do? Where are you from? You live in a funeral home. I'm here for oh, is... Uh, sociology. Oh, is this Shirley? I didn't even recognize her. Brutal, but I love Boston, man. It's such a great town. Right? I'm I'm lost. What's that about? I'm just kind of a germaphobe. Really? After what you just That's did, okay, you're I'm a germaphobe? I have to work tomorrow. Uh, early. You get out. She's oh. kicking you out. <laughs> oh guys. It is too late for this. I am not paying attention worth the squat. Unless this isn't Shirley. I have no idea. I forgot what the hell she looked okay, like. Then. You go home with somebody you don't know and you just you're surprised they kick you out after they get what they want. Come on. Hi. Oh, that's the mom. No, no. No, that's Shirley, right? No, I don't know, guys. I'm lost. I'm completely and utterly lost right now. She sounded bad. Yeah, because it sucks to be now. Did she call you? No. Of course not. We still haven't talked since L.A. Theo. No, I'm just waiting for an apology. I'm drawing boundaries, which is something you might want to look into. She said it was about Luke. I don't know. Something about it scared me. Luke will show up when he needs money. Introducing too many people at once, and I'm getting confused. So, Theo. Who is she? I don't remember seeing her at the beginning. Okay. Please let that be a spouse or something. Oh, this oh, is yeah, the dad. Okay. okay. What time is it? Do you remember the bed neck lady? Yes. She's back. Okay. Now, where are you? I'm at home. In bed. I want you to go to Stephen Lee's. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to drive to Orlando. Uh, get a flight to LA. You, 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 
What's she doing? Is she gonna kill herself? I love you, Daddy. Are you? She's about to die. Okay. He's about to I'm die. Sorry. I'm sorry to wake you. Good night, Daddy. No, no, okay, good. I thought she was gonna get hit by a train or something, like she was sitting on some tracks. No, she just went back to Hill House. I'm to say I'm confused would be an understatement, okay? I'm definitely totally confused about who's who. I'm assuming we're not going to see it because Steve Steven said he never saw a ghost at Hill House unless he lied about it. I'm going to carry you. Why? You keep your eyes closed no matter what you hear. You don't open them. You promise? The picture fell again. You promise? I promise. All right, so this is why Steven never saw a ghost because he's supposed to keep his eyes closed. Okay. I'm thinking he saw something because... He seemed really freaked out when Nell brought it up. Okay, Steven did see a ghost because he just opened his eyes. Where's the uh, everybody else? Get back in the car! Alright, so mom died in this house? 